They've been bringing us sunny days since 1969. Can you tell me how to get to Sesame Street? Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Muppets from Sesame Street. For this list, we've disqualified those Muppets who star on The Muppet Show, live down in Fraggle Rock, or anywhere else Muppets congregate, unless they were regulars on Sesame Street. <coughs> Number 10, Telly Monster. <laughs> I'm glued. Originally known as the Television Monster because of his obsession with the boob tube, this pink Muppet with the bulbous orange nose and the antennae on his head evolved into a character that worries about everything. Please. You have some place I can oh, plug in? He may be a bit neurotic, paranoid even, but with a little encouragement, he's as enthusiastic as the next Muppet. No, I, I couldn't do that. I, I don't know how to use a computer. Well, neither do I, but you could learn how to. Well, do you think I could? Especially if what he's doing involves triangles. <laughs> well, what's to look at? What's to look at? Mm. Only. Three wonderful sides! Count them! Number nine, Snuffleupagus. Uh, a Snuffleupagus? Yeah. Gosh, you hardly ever see those anymore. Going by the full name Aloysius Snuffleupagus, this woolly mammoth-like Muppet requires two Muppeteers to make his way around Sesame Street. For his first few years on the show, no adult knew Snuffy existed. They all thought he was Big Bird's imaginary friend. <laughs> Susan and Gordon, that's one, two people that didn't see me. However, he's since been revealed to all and dropped his glum demeanor. So today he's a cheerful, fuzzy friend, but he's as shy and forgetful as ever. And then you try to turn as you shake up that snuffle and it's how you do. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, the snuffle shuffle. Okay. Number eight, Grover. Waiter, there's a fly in my soup. Could you do something about it? There is a fly in your soup in yeah. this establishment? Yeah. Known for his helpful and persistent nature and unique speaking style, this Frank Oz original is never too busy to try a new job or interact with celebrities. I got a new way to walk. Walk, walk. Hey, you know, you know what? You did it better than me. And of course, they are just so beautiful oh, to look at. And they can bark, too! <laughs> um, no, actually, trees can't bark. Also known as Fuzzy Face, the Hairy One, or even Super Grover. And I am cute, too! He's a cute little furry monster that first debuted in prototype form on The Ed Sullivan Show. Now, now I'm not first, and, and I'm not last, but I'm awfully tired. <sighs> He's since joined his Sesame Street buddies in teaching kids all sorts of things. This is near. You see? Oh, okay, I'll do it once more for you, okay? Okay. This is near. This is far! Number seven, Abby Kadabi. You want to watch me practice my magic? I am going to turn this ordinary glass of milk into a pumpkin. <laughs> this Sesame Street local is the street's resident fairy. Well, almost. And she's got the wings and wand to prove it. Okay, uh, bows, toes, give him a nose! No, this isn't right! Abby debuted during the show's 37th season in 2006 in an effort to add more representation for both different cultures and females. Abby! That's right. I'm standing between Zoe and Rosita. <laughs> and the little pink Muppet fit right in, making friends with both the new and old Sesame Street personalities and turning everything she can into a pumpkin. Okay, uh, here goes. Okay. Dumpkin, lumpkin, <laughs> frumpkin, pumpkin. <laughs> Number six, Count Von Count. They call me the Count because I love to count things. In fact, I am looking for some things to count right now. He's the resident math whiz of Sesame Street. I will move each block as I count it. Oh, no, no. Ernie asked me to. 
One, two. So obsessed with counting, he'll count anything he can think of, often to the annoyance of others. I must. <gasps> One! One ring! That's a telephone, uh, uh, uh. I'll answer it. No, I Oof. must count them! Yeah, two! Two rings! I have to answer the phone there. No, no, I am counting the rings! The Count is a clear parody of Bela Lugosi's Dracula, complete with the over-exaggerated accent. Oh, my happy childhood in the Carpathian Mountains! How well I remember! Inexplicably followed around by thunder and lightning everywhere he goes, The Count is Jerry Nelson's longest-running and perhaps most popular character in large part because of his laugh. 10, 11, 12, ah, 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 wonderful. Number five, Oscar the Grouch. Oh, yuck. Performed by the voice of Big Bird, Carol Spinney, this grouch can only be described as miserable. What, you think it's easy for me being a grouch who's green? That is, unless there's trash around. Anything ragged or rotten or rusty, yes, I love trash. Originally orange, Oscar lives in a trash can between Ernie and Bert's place and Big Bird's nest, with hordes and hordes of garbage. Top it up with bunches of wilted old flowers. Alongside his worm slimy and Bruno the trash man, Oscar is grouchy to the core. And if you don't like it, you'd better scram. Will you please go away and leave me alone? Is that yelling? Number four, Bert and Ernie. Why, oh boy, isn't this exciting? One likes rubber duckies. Rubber ducky, I'm awfully fond of you. Bo -bo -bo -dio. One likes pigeons. Doing the pigeon. <laughs> Doing the pigeon. One's naive, one's a stick in the mud. But Bert and Ernie are the perfect twosome. How are you going to catch all these fishes without a fishing pole? Oh, you see, I call them. You call them? Mm hmm. <laughs> he calls them. <laughs> That's rich. This I got to see. Go ahead. Fishy, fishy, fishy! Living together at 123 Sesame Street, this pair of pals has been a fixture of the neighborhood since the beginning, and their relationship apparently mimics that of their original performers, Frank Oz and Jim Henson. Bert's it. You're it, Bert! Ah, yeah, I got you. Oh. Number three, Cookie Monster. Okay, the first clue yeah. is that it is something to eat. It's a cookie! No, it's not a cookie. Not a cookie. Mm. He's got the biggest appetite of any Muppet. You know what moon reminds me of? It reminds me of great, big, delicious cookie! Before his days on Sesame Street, this Frank Oz creation spent time in commercials and IBM training videos. This is your new fully computerized coffee machine. But eventually, he became the blue, cookie-munching monster we all know and love. Pip pip and good evening. This sometimes host of Monsterpiece Theater is also famous for his googly eyes, simple speaking style, and total lack of willpower. If you are fond of bread and butter, because both of these words begin with a B. And, uh... <sighs> here we go again. As well as a catchphrase you won't soon forget. Number two, Elmo. Kurt Kermit the Frog here of Sesame Street News. Can I ask you a question? Uh, yes, Elmo Knight's questions. Uh huh. Uh, Elmo, Elmo is your name. That's El that's yes. Elmo. Elmo. Though he started as a background character, this perpetual three and a half year old exploded with life in 1984 thanks to Muppeteer Kevin Clash. <laughs> Almost going around on your back. <laughs> and it's nothing. Soon, Elmo became a star and a franchise unto himself. You make me laugh and so much more. Have me in stitches rolling on the floor. His likes include riding his trike and being tickled, while his dislikes are, well, not much. He's pretty upbeat. But it's his childlike voice that speaks only in the third person and his infectious laugh that make him unforgettable. <laughs>
Before we unveil our number one pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Wherever I'm needed, I go. Whenever, what were we talking about? Oh, hey ho, this is Kermit the Frog, and I'm speaking to you from Old MacDonald's Farm. Here, keeping things protected, are, are Harry's ribs. You oh, know? that tickles. You have only one minute to bring me five things that contain milk. Number one, Big Bird. Mew, mew. Why are you meowing at me? Well, I thought perhaps maybe you were a cat? He eclipses every character on Sesame Street, both figuratively and literally. <laughs> oh, my oh, come on. She's eight feet tall. No, she's not. Oh. She's only four oh. feet tall. I'm holding her up, Big Bird. The big yellow heart and soul of the show, our eight foot two birdseed loving feathered friend is a perma six year old who's got talents galore and is always fascinated by the world around him. And so this stuff just grows here, huh? didn't just grow here, we planted them. Oh, I get it. Debuting in the first ever episode of the show, Big Bird has helped children ask questions, come to terms with death, and learn the alphabet. Abkadepki Jekyll Monopkors Durix is, is the most remarkable word I've ever seen. Do you agree with our list? Who's your favorite Muppet from Sesame Street? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. For more Muppetational Top 10s, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com.